Hello and welcome to a cooked up episode of Go Fraser Valley. After receiving a food intervention, I was placed into food rehab. And last week we were at the grocery store, learning how to shop like a boss. But that's only half the battle because you have to take all that food home and put it together, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Miel, hello again. Come on in. Hey, thanks. Are you ready for our cook day? Nope. Oh, <laughs> that's the wrong answer. Well, Where's your kitchen? Over here. Come on. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, so to remind our viewers, um, what are we cooking today? All right, well, I brought recipes with us. Okay. So because I heard that you really love chicken fingers, yes. and we talked about that before, um, I came up with a recipe for a herb and nut crusted chicken strips. Which are awesome. Okay. okay, so that's recipe one. Okay, then we're gonna make a Caesar salad, which is actually my dad's famous recipe. Okay. Oh, really? Homemade dressing. Yep. And we are gonna make a stir fry. That one doesn't have any recipe because I'm gonna show you how to do any kind of stir fry really simply with a homemade peanut sauce. And that's your last recipe. Great. Now, I should let you know my cooking experience is really terrible. I took a foods class in grade 12 and ended up making a rice pie. Please don't ask me how, but what I learned is that I'm really terrible at following directions. Um, so uh, where do we start? Okay, well, what I'm here hopefully to help you with today is learning that foods are easy and fun and recipes are, you can either follow them exactly or you can use them as a guideline as you come along into knowing what you're doing a little bit more or you can substitute vegetables and ingredients you like better or not, okay? So just so you know, this is follow directions but in an easy going kind of way. Okay. All right, and we are gonna start today by doing the romaine lettuce for the Caesar salad and we wanna have that really, really dry later so we're gonna go with that. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, yes, why don't you take all those leaves and rip them off. Okay. To start with, okay? And then? And then, why don't you put them on here? So rip them each all off. Each leaf? Each leaf. Go for it. Be brave. Be brave. We're gonna do the whole thing. Well, I have a large pile of... <laughs> take your lettuces. Right. You can line up a few big ones, right? And then the crunchy parts are really easy to tear. So. Why do you love food so much? I always grew up having dinner together with my family every single night. And then when I was 19, I sort of had a health crisis and I was able to really get healthy by learning how to eat my own healthy food at that time. And then I became really passionate about helping other people do the same. I think for me, food totally is love. And I think for me, we always have lots of people over at my house. We live on an organic farm. So it's nothing to have 12, 14, 16 people to dinner. And it's like, for me, food is entertainment, is family, is friends. It's all mixed into one thing. All right, so I'm excited to show you about asparagus because okay. this was a personal request that you said that you really like it but don't know how to use that, right? right. So something that's interesting about asparagus is, have you, you ever had it? it? You have to snap it because yeah. these ends get woody and tough and then people think sometimes they don't like it because lots of people just cut off the end. But the asparagus will actually tell you exactly where it's too tough and it's perfect. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so give it a try? It, just, it just breaks. So just gently, so go a little closer to the, there. Now just gently, yeah, exactly. That's it. You got it. This part is the root part, okay, and we're gonna, <laughs> I know, the, the crying might happen, especially because I have to talk while I cut. Right? We're all gonna cry. If we're all you don't together. talk, there's less chance of crying. Really? Apparently. That, I, don't that, know. I talk all the time. I'm so. hooped, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut it. You cut it before you peel way. it? Yeah, it just peels. I find it peels easier because okay. you can grab the peel. So we're gonna just make really slim little. Oh, just like that? Yeah. Nice and small, using our bear claw hand to keep our fingers out of line of the knife, right? Yeah. One third cup toasted dry whole grain breadcrumbs or panko. One teaspoon sea salt. Half a teaspoon pepper. One eighth teaspoon cayenne pepper flakes, or more if you like, or other seasoning of choice. 
two tablespoons or more of finely chopped fresh herbs, parsley, chives, rocket, basil, scallions, cilantro, alone or in combination. One third cup toasted organic nuts. Extra virgin olive oil for a drizzle. Okay, so this is gonna be our crunchy outer coating for our chicken strips here. Oh, I'm so excited, that looks so good. Bob, who's Bob? So Bob is my dad and he is famous for his Caesar salads. In fact, he's even been in a couple Caesar salad competitions and done really, really well. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we've just added a little bit of Dijon to your egg, whipped it up, and we are ready to take the chicken. Take the chicken. Yep, you're gonna put it, dip it in the egg. Like that? Put it right in. You're gonna, your hand's a little bit dirty here now, Jonathan. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then you wanna kind of get the excess off. Perfect, and then you're gonna put it in here. Nice. Kind of a two part, and you wanna get it really nice and coated. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on our tray that we lightly oiled and we just sprinkled a little bit of the crumbs on. There you go. Okay. Well. Now we're gonna do the stir fry. Okay. Okay, you ready? So yes. we are gonna use coconut oil as our oil. Okay, it goes really, really nice with the peanut sauce and it's one of the healthiest oils for you and to cook with. Okay. So about a tablespoon. Now I know you're not a fan of raw onions. Yes. So we're gonna put our onions in first. They make really great flavor and we're gonna really let them caramelize. So what is it exactly that you do? Well, Jonathan, thanks for asking. Um, I do a lot of things because we live on a 50 acre <laughs> organic farm. So that's one of my big things. Okay. But my food for thought business has really developed over the last couple of years. I saw that there was a really big need for people to learn about healthy food and how to make it fun and how to basically bring it into their homes. So I started by volunteering in the two elementary schools in my town. So to Kent and Harrison Hot Springs and that went really, really well. My dream when I went to school in New York was to be in the food industry, but to be either a personal chef or to teach cooking classes or really to be making a difference with healthy food. So I, we've been developing the business of Food for Thought, which is a, basically a holistic food consulting health and wellness business. And I do all kinds of different things from what I'm doing with you, which is basically a food intervention. So with someone who wants a food intervention, it could be just a five-day food diary that they give to me, and then I come up with how they can add healthier things into that, and that might be just a one-shot deal, um, up to coming in and remaking your whole kitchen, pantry, how to go grocery shopping, in home or in my home cooking classes for you or you and your family, um, to half-day, full-day um, seminars and lectures. So, And I also specialize a little bit in helping people with a really serious health problem, so cancer, diabetes, heart disease, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So you know what it's time for now? What? Now it's time to eat. Okay. Wow, this looks amazing, but it's missing something. Just hold on a minute. Seriously? It's good! Well, I guess it's baby steps today anyways. Okay, let's give this a go here. Start off with something like light here, okay. Mmm, that's so good. How does that compare to your frozen chicken fingers? About a million times better. Awesome, and you know what? You did it all yourself. Well, I had a bit of help. I had a bit of great help. Thank you. Now, if you want to know how to make all this food, Miel will have it posted on her Facebook page. And you can also find information about how to have your very own food intervention as well. And don't forget, we also are on social media if you want to find out what we're up to. But as for me, it is time to eat.